Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a review of this foundation, the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation. The colour that I have is porcelain. So as these types of things go, I'm doing one side of my face with using a brush and the other side using a beauty blender to see which application works the best. I've never actually used this foundation before so I'm very excited to see how it applies. I've heard really good things about this foundation from a lot of YouTubers though I am a little bit skeptical that this is the right colour for me. Seems a little bit pale. So we'll see how we go and if you'd like to see how the review went then please keep watching. Okay so as mentioned I'm using Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation so as mentioned on the label it is a water-based foundation so I can't put my primer underneath. Uh, the primer that I have underneath suits more silicone type uh, based foundations. If you don't know what a beauty blender is, it is this thing. Um, mine looks dirty but it's actually clean. Um, it's like a sponge thing so you can use the back of the sponge to bounce foundations off your face and then you can use the pointy end to help put concealer on. Quite a weird looking tool but it's actually very handy and sometimes the application of foundation is a lot better with a beauty blender than it is with a sponge. So with today's scientific experiment we're going to see which does better with the uh, Tarte foundation that I'm going to put on. First things first though I need to put on my hairband and I got these new ones uh, to get my fringe out of my face. These I got from Countdown. So they're not the best quality ones, but they're the only ones that I've found that don't have cat ears on them. And my other one broke. Sad face. So with the brush one, I'm using the Zoeva buffing brush. I'm going to decant a little bit of the foundation on the back of my hand. And it's, I think it's a dropper. It only drops out a little bit. Hardly anything at all. We'll see how much that gives me, which is only a little dot. Because Tarte doesn't actually have any places that they stock in New Zealand, I had to order this online, so this may completely be the wrong colour for me. It looks very pale, so we'll see. Um, so I'll do this side with the brush, and that side with the beauty blender. Here goes. First impressions is that the uh, foundation is far too pale for me. Sorry, you can hear that in the background. It is the most disgusting day ever. It is just pouring down. Yuck. Alright, I think I need another pump of that. There is nothing coming out. This is completely useless. That's completely useless to be honest. In some ways it's just probably easier just to pour some on the back of my hand and go from there. At least I'll actually get some out. I'll take a little bit more down my neck because this colour is I think if I was going to order this again, oh that came out better that time, look at that, oh amazing. Um, I would probably order the next shade up with the pink tones. Um, okay so that is one side of my face done, I'm going to do the other side now with the beauty blender. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Goodness, my nose looks red with this foundation. <laughs> Just a side that hasn't been applied. Mm. 
and now I'm just gonna do the rest of my makeup and I'll come back okay so that is my makeup now all in place the tutorial for this will be going up next week I will be checking in uh, later in the day just to see how the foundation has worn on my face it is now 12 mm, that doesn't show much 12 21 uh, PM so I'll be checking in later in the day and so we'll see how it's done hopefully it's done very well at the moment I not too sure if I like this I find it's a little bit drying well it makes my skin look a little bit drier but um, it may wear really well and I may like it so we'll see how we go see you back here soon hi everybody I'm back to check in to see how well this foundation is doing it is now almost nine o'clock <laughs> it's now almost nine o'clock and I'm just gonna check to see how well it's doing and which side I prefer. So just so for this this was the brush side, this was the beauty blender side. Almost forgot. <laughs> okay, so looking at the brush side first, you can definitely tell that it's makeup on my skin. Um, I've lost some around my nose. I tried not to touch my face. Oh, it was hard. Um, I've been wearing a hat pretty much all day today. It's been so cold. And of course my outfit change. I'm wearing my Icelandic wool jumper. So freezing. Um, It's lasted pretty well. Yeah, some caking like underneath my nose, which is always like a problem area for me. Looking at the beauty blender side, which is this side of my face. Um, I've lost some around my nose. I always lose some here. I have been wearing my glasses, so I'd expect the foundation to rub off on my nose. Hard to say which side I like. I have a feeling, just feeling my skin. The, the brush side has stayed on more. This doesn't feel like there's anything here. Uh, I also ended up with some getting a bit cakey up here as well, but that's the one. Again, I've been wearing my glasses, so I always end up with cakey marks up there. So, all in all, um, fix my hair. All in all, I think this isn't a bad, bad foundation. It's not as good as my MAC one that I'm using at the moment is the one that's really silicony and slippy. What's it called? Yeah, it comes in a tube. Anyway, um, I will put a little thingy about which one I'm, <laughs> I'm referring to. Um, yeah, I hate the dropper on this. It is completely useless for me. I just can't seem to get any out. Um, much more economical for me to actually pour it on the back of my hand. So all in all, I'm not too sure if this really reaches the hype about it. Their concealers apparently are really really good so I would like to try them one day but we'll see how we go. Alright so thank you very much for watching and if you would like to see more videos like this please give it a thumbs up and also please subscribe so you can always find my videos again. Thanks so much, bye!